สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Kaylin De Cha Chai Wong from Thailand. We are excited to share with you the enchanting festival of l a g a t o n g This event takes place during the full moon on the 12th month, celebrated across Thailand, and its connections to other cultural festivals in Southeast Asia. These are the similar festivals in other countries, such as Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, and Singapore. Laos. l a r g a t o n g is also celebrated in Laos as well, known by the same name with the similar traditions of floating rafts to honor the water spirits. Myanmar, the t o n g z a n g d a n g Festival, Cambodia, Bon On t u k Festival, and Singapore, the Dipawali Festival. The Hindu Festival of Lights also falls around this time, celebrating the victory of light over darkness, good over evil. Though it does not directly relate to the water goddess, l a g a t o n g in English means floating basket. These are handmade, with the bases mostly made out of slices of a coconut tree trunk or a loaf of bread, and decorated with banana leaves, flowers, candles, and colorful incense sticks. This festival is to worship and ask for forgiveness from the water goddess, p r a m e h o n g k a l a g a t o n g is a beautiful and a culturally rich festival that brings people together to reflect, show gratitude, and to celebrate with joy and unity. In Thailand, we have a very popular song called l a g a t o n g played every year during the festival. Today, we are proud to present a new arrangement of this song for you. Please enjoy.
Sawadikha. My name is Pawisis Biyathe Chatranakan and today I'm going to be talking about the instrument that I play. The kim is a musical instrument in Thailand, also known as the Thai dulcimer. It is very popular in Thailand and you could often see it in restaurants, hotels, and concert halls. The kim comes in different sizes, from small to large, and the one I play is medium size. The dulcimer appears around the world in Asia, Southeast Asia, America, and Europe. And it looks like the kim in Thailand, but the sounds are different. The kim has a sweet and bright character, and we have unique songs and techniques. On behalf of all of us, we thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you, and so at Deja. My name is Nitra Pabunto Pakun. I am six years old. I love the Loikato Festival because we make little boats with candles and float them on the river at night and it's so beautiful. I also love playing Kim, a traditional high instrument. It sounds so sweet and makes me happy. Like a tongue and play Thai instrument make me feel close to my family and my culture. Sawadikha. My name is Ganara Khositsukun. The music that you have just listened to is just a small part of Thai traditional music. We have rearranged the song in a lo-fi music style, mixing Thai instrument which is called Ranat Ek and Kim with pop music. We hope our music will appeal to people of every generation. It is easy to understand but still retain this Thai musical essence. Now let's learn more about the main musical instrument in this song, the Ranat A. Enjoy! My name is Hana Napichia Arya Wong and I'm 12 years old. My name is Tanwadi Kangwan Chai and I'm 12 years old. Today we're going to be talking about Ranat Egg. Ranat Egg is a Thai xylophone, which is a very popular musical instrument in Thailand. There are two parts of it. The first part is the resonating box, which carry the pieces of the Ranat Egg. This enhances the sound, make it more echoic and reverberant, and adds to its beauty. You might notice that the paintings on each Ranat Egg are different. For this one, there are paintings, but some also only show the wood on the resonant box, which will not have paintings on them. The second part consists of the Ranat Egg's pieces. There are 22 pieces. The notes follow a diatonic scale. We have our own traditional tuning scale, but it can also be tuned to a Western scale. For the sticks, we have two types. Smooth sticks, which produce a warm and sweet sound. also have hard sticks which create an aggressive sound and are popular for outdoor performances. Initially, we always sit on the floor to play the Renat Egg, but nowadays we can sit on a chair or sometimes stand depending on the situation of the performance. We love to play the Ranat Egg because it makes us fun and feel happy. And we hope you enjoy it together with us. Sawadikha. Sawadikha. My name is Kanhi Chaseli Wiliakun. Thank you for watching and joining us on this musical journey. We hope you enjoyed the fusion of traditional Thai instrument with modern lo-fi sound. Stay tuned for more unique blends and musical exploration. Have a great day.